Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. Do not mind. I have the same tank top on as the other day's video. We had a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. I hope that all of you did as well. So Joe and I did travel to Ohio today, which is Memorial Day when I'm filming this. This video will go up in on Wednesday. And we went to two Bath and Body Works. The first one we went to was not open yet. The second one was open. They were only allowing um, 16 people in the store at a time. They had plastic shields at the cash wrap. Um, it, everybody in there was wearing a mask. There were a couple of customers that were not because I'm not sure that Ohio is enforcing that. But Joe and I, we both wear a mask when we're out in public going in and out of places. And then we sanitize, wash our hands, all of that business. So... Bath and Body Works was a little bit of a letdown only because um, none of the new products were in store. They had candles were $14.50, which was really nice. So I'll show you. Um, I did get a bag because I had to get some things for my parents. And I was in store and I'll show you as we go things that you guys will be like, okay, yeah, that's a no-brainer. We know that Jack would pick that up. It was really nice. We got to go to a Chick-fil-A because there are hardly any Chick-fil-A's in Michigan. So that was nice. It was very different. It was drive through only, which is fine. Um, we pulled off and ate in the car. It was a beautiful day here in Michigan. So it was really, really nice. We are sunburned. So I was okay with not being out in the sun all day. We still did yard work this afternoon, but you know, it is what it is. So let me show you when you walked in the store, they handed you a bag or they didn't hand it to you. They said, grab a bag, which I thought was interesting because they weren't those. Oh, you know why? The cloth ones. It takes Jackie a few minutes to catch on just so everybody was wondering. So what my parents wanted, Kathy had said, if I was going to place an order, could I pick up some things for her and my dad? And I got Clarity, which is the peppermint and rosemary, the aromatherapy. They love the shower gels and the bubble bath with this line. Um, Clarity was 50% off. So I think it ended up being like $7.50. Um, it smells really good. I don't really smell the rosemary, but the peppermint is really nice in here. And then my dad really wanted the stress release eucalyptus and spearmint. So I got him this. This was regular price at $13.50. And it smells good. I like it. Sometimes they have this up north. And when I go to take a bath, I'll use it. And it, it makes me think of my dad. And, you know, I do anything for him. Then I got two hand soaps. These were 50% off. And you guys are going to be like, oh my God, Jack, don't you have enough? No, I do not. It says Happy Easter, but you know what? It is what it is. But it's the Sweet Bunny Berry. So I got two of them. So let's do a thumbnail. You like that? Um. So here are those. They ended up being $3.25 a piece because they were 50% off. So it is Sparkling Raspberry, Candied Petals, and Crystallized Sugar. I love this. I think we had one in our empties from last month, maybe. Um, I think, you know, since it's not the Easter season, you know, I really don't care because I like the smell of it, that maybe I should get like a one of the hand soap holders, you know, next time I'm in Bath and Body Works, which I don't know when that'll be. And then also on the 50% off, I was so excited to find, oh, excuse me, to find this. It is the same scent. This is a Sweet Bunny Berry. I found a body cream, and a spray. So this ended up being three something, I believe. Well, her receipt is literally stapled to the bag. Yeah, 375 for these. Um, again, no coupons, not a big deal. It is what it is. So the same notes, sugared plum, sparkling raspberry, and candy petals. So I got the spray and the um, body cream. And I told you guys if I was in store and I saw this, I would pick it up. Those were the only two that were left there. I would have bought, um, um, I thought I tasted blood. That was weird. Um, if I would have seen more, I would have bought them. No shame in my game. Hand sanitizers. They had a million of them. They had not a lack of hand sanitizers. They are still five for eight, which is what it is. I'm, I'm over the price, you know, increase, but I get it because they are mass producing these, it, you know, whatever. 
So the first one they got is Island Papaya. I didn't smell these. I, I, I felt panicked. I don't know why. I felt like panicked and rushed, even though nobody was rush, rushing me. Joe stayed out in the car just because when I walked up to the door, there was like literally 10 people waiting in line. Um, this smells good. It's I, It says for sure. And it's like the shore, like the seashore. Then I got two of the pina coladas. Um, you guys know I've been on a pina colada kick. And that smells good. And I might as well use it because it squirted out of my hand. Yeah, that smells really good. Um, I did, I think I'm almost done with the one that was on my desk. So I'm going to take one into work. Then I got Love Wins. It's Sweet Mint and Rain. It just smells like, you know, I think it's really pretty. And then I got Joe a Black Cherry Merlot. He really likes the Black Cherries. Um, I really don't. I always get them for him and then I like do not like to burn them. I'm sorry. Just don't. Then I picked up one three wick candle and three one wick candles because I do like to chunk these up in my warmers. So these were 50% off. And the first one I got is Sun Washed Citrus. I'm not the biggest fan of citrus scented candles from Bath and Body Works, but um, I didn't mind this. So I thought I would try it in my warmers. And the packaging is really cute. So it's very pretty. I like these compared to like the super plain ones. So the scent notes on here are Sor Sorrento lemons, citron, and aguava, aguava nectar. If she could talk. They had a ton of the single wicks. They were two for 20 and they had blueberry pie. And I was super tempted to buy them. I don't like how these burn, but I do like chunking them. Um, I'm just really missing Bath and Body Works. I know. So I picked this one up. These are normally $14.50, so they ended up being $7.25. Then I got a mahogany coconut. This one smells like a men's cologne. The coconut is not very sugary. It's not like an in-your-face coconut. It's more like a sweet note with like a cologne scent. I thought this would be a really good one in our warmer um, upstairs. I don't have a warmer in our bedroom, but I have it in the spare bedroom next to us, so I could put it in there. The scent notes are creamy coconut, mahogany wood, and English lavender. I do smell the lavender. It smells really pretty, and the packaging is so pretty. I think it looks like tie-dye, and I love tie-dye. My mom loved tie-dye, so here is the mahogany coconut. And then the third one that I got is Turquoise Waters. I know this is like an old candle. It's been out a gazillion years. I love the packaging. It's like U of M go blue color. So go blue. Um, and it smells to me. It's kind of, I feel like now that I'm smelling this at home, you ever do that? You smell things in store and you're like, Ooh, that smells different and new. And I want to get it. I think I don't like this one. <laughs> just being 100%. Oh, and when we were standing in line to go in the store, she informed all of us, no returns, no exchanges, um, no cash, card only. I think I felt like they're in stay six feet away from each other, which is fine with me. Um, but I just thought it was such a bummer. I was like, no exchanges, no returns. If you call their customer service, you know, like I bought that stuff online. They said, hold on to it for when the store is open. It is what it is. Um, coastal waves, sparkling bergamot, and sun-drenched musk. I don't know. Maybe it smells good in a warmer. Maybe. I'm not going to knock it yet. I'll put it in a warmer, and then I'll circle back around and tell you guys what I think. But I love the packaging. I think it's so pretty. And then a three-wick that I got, um, I the last one of these that I had gotten, I given to my brother-in-law. And it's the watermelon lemonade. He really likes this. And I think this is so pretty. Yeah, it is the glass. The glass is that gradient red to pink. So watermelon lemonade has been out several years in a row. It is a very good summer scent. Oh, and love Courtney. I see you. I will be doing that video for you. My top favorite summer candles. Um, They probably won't be new ones because I haven't gotten any yet, but... It is what it is. Oh, still waiting on that Bath and Body Works order. This is good. This is a good scent. I love the body care in this too. Sometimes it goes on sale um, there on semi-annual, which I don't know if we're going to have one. But the scent notes are watermelon ice, sparkling water, Meyer lemon with essential oils. 
um, it smells good. And it is cream colored wax, three wicks. So I was like, I wanted to get this because it's been a while since I burned it. And I do like to burn this like in the kitchen in the sunroom. We did turn our air conditioning on here in Michigan. It got up over 80 degrees and it was very humid. And I was like, I can't deal with this. So we turned the air on. I don't know how many days it'll be on, but it is on now so I can sleep well. So there you have it. That is my haul from Bath & Body Works. It is the first time that I have shopped inside of Bath & Body Works since my birthday, literally my birthday week. I think I went one time when I got home from Vegas in California. So I was happy to step in again. It was like, you know, my happy place. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you've enjoyed this random haul. I hope you guys are well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.